Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. We're gonna to show you a little bit of how to use your airbrush system. We have the airbrush kit by Iconics by Malena Khan, and we've got all of our supplies here. We've got our airbrush, we have our inks, we have our solution to clean out our airbrush gun, plenty of paper towels, and our wet wipes for our hands or whatever we may need. I also have adhesive stencils, and we had one comment from Devin Zeta asking to use the feathers. So we're gonna start off with a little feathering on Tawny's side. Come here, Tawny. Up. Come here. Come here. Tawny wants to be lazy and not lay down, not stand up. So we're gonna move her over here so that way we, <laughs> that way we can have her a little closer. Okay. We're gonna start off with feather on the side and let's give you an angle where you can see the feather over here and you can see that peels right off and let's see if we can move her back over here and get a little bit of a better We're going to start off with a blue on her and have my cameraman just hold on to her so she doesn't jump off of our table. Okay, you're going to take your gun and we're going to add the ink in here. And we want to make sure that it sprays out first properly before we actually spray it on the dog, so that's why we have our paper towels here. We also want to... Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to give it a try on her. And we're going to let her lay down, whichever way she's comfortable. And we're going to see. And you notice I'm not keeping the airbrush gun in one spot. might have to hold on to it just to make sure that it doesn't move around or get a little wrinkled and end up giving you an altered look. So now what we're going to do is we're going to change up the color a little. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump out the color and that's what we've got our little stack of paper towels here and I'm gonna rinse. And when I rinse it, I'm gonna dump out the rinse again. It's a lot quicker than trying to spray it all out. And I'm going to just put a little bit in here, swish it, dump it around again. And you wanna do this in between each and every use of colors, unless you have a color you want to blend together, such as red and orange, blue and purple. And I'm going to use a little bit of, let's do a little bit of um, green. And this is more of a looking more of a teal green but I guess we're going to see what color green it comes out and we're gonna do just the tips and we're gonna see if that has a nice little faded in color and I also want to see how long this is gonna last on her in between baths so again, we're gonna dump that one out. I'm gonna rinse it because I'm gonna do purple next. And I swirl that around a little, dump it. 
I'm gonna make sure it's rinsing out clear. And then we're gonna add our purple in there. And we're gonna try a little bit of purple down at the base here. My portrait is running away from me. So we're gonna move her back. And let's turn her a little so I can see where I'm working and what I'm doing. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and remove this and get a little look at what we've got there. We're going to clean up the edges bit. And again, this will fade. But we want to see how many washes this lasts for. And our next video, we will do a little bit with her stripes and her cheetah print. And we're going to see if we can add some color and dress that up with a little bit of color. But that's the stencils. And again, they're self-adhesive with the India inks by Iconics by Milena Khan. All right, hope you enjoyed that little video. Stay tuned for our next how-to. And you guys have a safe and wonderful day.